hello everyone so in this video we will be covering a topic that is how to create a new template okay so in order to create a new template you have to come to this section click on templates at the extreme left okay so whatsapp templates are pre-approved whatsapp messages that can be sent as notification to the users or to the customers onto their whatsapp number okay so in order to begin with you need to click on as i as i just told you, you need to click on the template section at the extreme left once you click on the template section at the extreme left you will land on this page okay where you will be able to see uh, multiple options as in one will be active one will be deleted and will be uh, one section will be the template library okay so let's start with the template library first okay so this template library is a collection of pre-approved templates across various categories such as commerce education festival etc and that can be used for setting up whatsapp campaigns quickly okay now let us understand how to select edit and create a whatsapp notification template using interacts template library feature okay so for that click on any of the template let's say i want to use this particular template i click on use this template okay once i click on uh, use this template so now this template is a, a like is pre-filled with the message content okay in this you can only like uh, edit the message text as per your business requirement okay let's say if you want to edit this image if you want to add the edit the content of this particular template then you can even edit that and once you will uh, edit the complete template uh, after that you have to just click on the submit at the extreme right and this template will be ready for your usage then then after that you can use this template for uh, sending the whatsapp campaigns to your customers okay right now uh, the next step will be the active section so for that i'll click on templates once again i'll click on the active section okay so under the active section you will be like redirected to this below screen once you click on the active section where you can view all the templates that you have created so far okay and you can even filter out the campaigns by the name by their name let's say if the name of this campaign is 27 june if you will copy paste this name over here then this particular camp uh, template will be filtered out okay and then comes this deleted section over here you will be able to see the templates that you have deleted or the templates that got rejected okay if let's say if any of the template gets rejected then it moves automatically to the deleted section right now we will be uh, covering uh, the main part that is how to create a new template so in order to create a new template you have to click on create new at the extreme right okay now give the template name as let's say if i want to give the template name as test template okay now comes the category okay so under the category uh, you will be able to see like there are three categories there are the three main categories or we even call it as uh, the conversation types so there are three types of conversation one is marketing one is utility one is authentication and there is one more type of conversation that is service initiated or user initiated okay there are different prices for these type of conversation you can uh, refer a pricing page for that okay now let's move to the next uh, part of the template that is button type okay so under the button type uh, let me select a category first okay so under the button type you will be able to see the multiple options that are available over here let's say if i select this copy code url quick replies option i'll click on add language and select english as the language so there are multiple languages that we support okay now let's assume let we have taken this second option copy code url quick replies okay in that case uh, you can add up to 10 CTA buttons or 10 buttons with this particular template the maximum limit is 10 the minimum limit will be 1 or you can even uh, if you don't want to add any button then you have to just click on none over here okay now let's say if I choose this particular option in that case I'll get multiple options as in let's say if I want to add a coupon code I want to share a coupon code with the customer you can add that if you want to add a website link and then if you want to add a button to the business phone number then let's say if you want to add certain custom buttons as in like book a 
demo then let's say the next button says talk to our agent so these are the custom buttons that we can add and uh, we can create the responses of these custom buttons from the custom auto reply section that comes under the automation section so we can we will cover this uh, uh, this automation section uh, in a different video you can refer to that video of ours okay now let's say if i'll choose on the second option that says send product so the button type will be send product under that you will get two options one is if you want to share your whatsapp catalog with your customers then you can click on this send entire catalog if you want to share the complete catalog with the customer if let's say if your catalog is linked with the interact platform then you can send that catalog in uh, in a form of button to your customers so once the customer click on that catalog button they will be able to see the complete collection of products and let's say if you want to share few products from the complete catalog then you can even then you can select the second option so while setting up the campaign you will get an option to select uh, maximum up to 30 products from the complete catalog okay and let's say the third option is limited time offer so in this option you can share a coupon code with a uh, with your customers uh, that coupon code will be added with a button and that coupon code will be valid for a certain duration duration and you can even set the duration of that particular coupon code or the button okay now comes the last option that is carousal okay so this carousal uh, option is a new addition to the whatsapp template feature these templates or this uh, this uh, button is, uh, allows the business to send a single text message accompanied by a uh, by a set of uh, up to 10 carousal cards in a horizontal scrollable view okay and you can even add a description of up to 60 characters with every carousal card and then you can even also add two cta buttons uh, in which a one one button will be a website link and the other button will be a quick reply button with those cards so i'll show you how it works so over here you can upload those cards you can upload those cards from here and along with the card whatever the card you will be adding you can add a card button which which have two options one is quick reply and one is a cta button okay and similarly if you want to add one more card then you have to just click on add another card along with that card you can add a cta button and a quick reply button okay now let's come back to this template creation part in which I'll select the second option copy code you will utilize right now in this uh, template section uh, like this template part has four main sections one is a header one is a body one is a footer and then the last one is a CTA buttons okay let's start with the header part so under the header section you can add uh, you have like multiple options you can if you want to add a text then you can uh, add a text okay so the maximum limit for a text is around 60 characters and let's say if you want to add a image as a header then you can add an image to the maximum size limit is around 5 mbs then let's say if you want to add a video you can add a video to along with that uh, along with the uh, the template message and then uh, and yeah the maximum size limit of video will be 16 mb and then if you want to add a document as in if you want to add a pdf file then you cannot even add that file and the maximum limit is the maximum size limit will be 100 mb okay so let's take text for now and let's say if i want to type the text as independence day offer so this will be the heading of my message then comes the body section under the body section i will be writing the message the promotional message that i want to share with my customers okay so let's assume i'll take this particular message under the body section okay it says hi then comes the variable one and then the message continues and at the end you can write your message as regards interactive whatever your business name will be and this after hi we have added a variable one so you can add this variable in this format you have to just after the high you have to give a space and just click on add variable okay so this variable uh, uh, like you, if you will be adding any uh, variable so uh, like you can use this variable uh, in order to map right like let's say if you want to map this variable against the name value of the customer or any other attribute of the customer right so you can do that so how it will work is let's say if you will map this variable one against the name value of the customer so let's say if you are setting up a campaign on 100 customers 
so what system will do is it will automatically pick up the name of those hundred customers and will send a message to those customers with the name of the, them okay so now comes the footer section okay so under the footer section uh, you can uh, like write a line as uh, the offer is valid till uh, 15th of august or let's say uh, uh, the main use case like i would say of the footer will be uh, the or the most common purpose of footer will be to add an opt out message okay so that opt out message offers the receiver a way to stop receiving the message on whatsapp from you and it even protect you from being marked as spam okay so let's take you add one line as uh, just a second let's say if you will add a line as reply stop if you wish to unsubscribe okay so what i can do is like i can create a quick reply button with the name stop okay and while setting up the campaign i can set up this opt out option okay we, we, i have uh, like we have already covered that under the campaign section you can see how to set up that okay and let's say whenever the customer will click on the stop button then they will receive this uh, receive an automatic message that show we will not message you further okay now comes the button section as i have already covered you can add up to 10 cta buttons okay if you want to add a if you want to share a uh, coupon code with the customer so we, let's say if the coupon code is tisc10 so this is how the coupon code will be uh, this button will be visible to the customer a copy over code let's say if you want to add a website url so over here you can give your website link let me copy it from somewhere right so make sure that link should start with https then only it will work okay and you can give the button link as visit our website now let's say if you want to add a phone number if you want a customer to directly call on your number then you can add the phone number over here and you can write the button text as callers or contactors and then comes the add quick reply option in which you can add custom buttons let's say the custom buttons are book or demo visit our store so it can be any like it depends on you whatever the button custom button name you want to give talk to our team and as i just mentioned uh, you can create the responses of these buttons under the automation section from here or you can even create the response while setting up the campaign okay now once the information every information uh, like all the information is done is completed and you have to just click on submit so once you click on submit you'll get this option of add sample over here uh, uh, once you click on add sample over here the system will ask you to add the content that you are going to add against the variable one so since we are going to map this variable one against the name value of the customer so in this i'll write name and i'll just click on done and i'll click on submit so once i'll click on submit this template will now go to facebook for approval okay so this covers the template section thank you